Hello everybody, Mr. LEGO Lover 55 here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we're taking a look at set 70800, the Getaway Glider. This set is recommended for ages 6 to 12, and has around 104 pieces. So I unfortunately don't have the box for this set anymore, but I of course have the actual set, and I also do have the instructions, so let's take a look at the set first. So we've got a couple things in this set, so we've got, of course got some minifigures, which we'll take a look at later. Uh, we've also got a cactus here, which is a pretty nice belt, it's on a tan uh, 2x4 plate. Uh, I've also got a horse, which is nice to get, uh, it can bend up like that, so it can stand on its hind legs, or down if you want. You can also take the saddle off, or leave it on, put the minifigure in. And then you've of course got the actual getaway glider itself, so I just, I've always really liked this uh, build here, and I've honestly, a lot of the LEGO movie sets have had uh, some really clever building s designs, just like using pieces that you would normally use for one thing, but then you use it for a, a different purpose, and uh, I don't know, I think that's definitely prominent on Benny's Spaceship, which I probably will review that at some point. But the Getaway Glider here is just really cool, because it takes some other some pieces you would expect to be used on something, and it uses it for something else completely different, like, uses a bunch of, like, Western-style wood pieces that would normally be used for, like, I don't know, maybe like a bar or something, and then it just puts them on this glider thing, which I think is just a really cool idea. That's really why I love a lot of the LEGO movie sets from the the original LEGO movie sets, just they're just so creative. I guess. But so yeah, it does have some play features. You can uh, spin that around uh, as much as you like. Uh, you can also pose the wings a little bit, and it's also got a chain there for Emmett to hold on to. Uh, he sort of holds on to it, it just sort of, uh, just like that. But uh, yeah, and you can of course like fly it around and everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can also take Emmett off, and he's basically, the, the way he's connected on here is uh, with the piece of resistance, and I don't exactly like this method because it, it means you can't, you have to like have the piece of res resistance on in order for it, for a minifigure to fly. Of course, you could probably make some modifications, like maybe take that off and do that or something, but like without modifications, uh, you can really only use the piece of resistance. So that's sort of disappointing, but oh well. This thing also does have quite a bit of stickers. It's got, I think, like four in total in the set. So it's got these two right here, and then these two right here that keep out and part of the bank sign, which, honestly, I just really like, though. I think they do definitely add to the thing. Just It just indicates that they just took Emmett or Wildstar or whatever, took just pieces off of a building, even like the signs of buildings, and just used them for this. It's just, just It's really cool. But so uh, yeah, you've also got like a little silver rooster there, which I, it's really cool. I've never really seen a uh, silver rooster before other than this set. It probably is coming in another set, I just don't know about it. But uh, it's pretty cool to get uh, one of those in silver. But uh, overall, that's really all there is to us to this set. There isn't a whole lot, but uh, we do get uh, quite a few minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So we'll go ahead and start off with Emmett, aka Chris Pratt. So uh, he's this is pretty much the simplest, I guess, most generic version of Emmett, because he this version of him does come in a lot of the other sets, especially with that face print. Uh, the torso print is pretty much the same across uh, all the other sets, except for some, uh, I guess, more unique variants. But so uh, yeah, he's just got that simple construction worker outfit with the Emmett name tag, which it would have been nice if maybe the name Emmett was like just in scribbles instead, so the actual uh, outfit could be used with other minifigures and not just Emmett, but oh well. You can see he's also got the piece of resistance, which is connected with a light bluish gray neck bracket piece, which I would have preferred if it was maybe like a translucent one instead, because that would sort of represent the glue that's attached to the piece of resistance to his back. I think that would have worked better, but I don't think they could have made it at the time or something. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. I don't know if they make them in translucent still, or if they even at all. Uh, there's his back printing. It is metallic, so you get a nice shine with that. So yeah, and there, this is one of his alternate face expressions. And if you turn it around, you can see the other one, which is a more confident uh, facial expression. His hairpiece is also pretty nice too. But uh, that is pretty much it here for Emmett. 
Next up, we have my favorite minifigure in this set. I think he's called the Robo Shira or something like that, but he's really cool looking. So he's got, you know, he's just got a standard sheriff outfit, but then he's a robot, so that just makes it even cooler. And he's got a mustache, a robot with a mustache. That is just really cool to me. Uh, so I just love that. And he's even got, like, two pistols, which I think even works just even better. He's got, like, the sheriff badge there, which is, uh, metallic, which is, has some metallic printing. He's also got back printing, which is pretty cool. And, uh, he's also got a star on his hat there, which is, again, pretty cool. Uh, but here is a better look at his face print, so, yeah, it is a little bit creepy without the mustache. Uh, but, uh, with the mustache, he just looks awesome. I just, I believe this is one of the first sets to actually ever introduce this, uh, mustache piece, so that was uh, another reason I really like this figure, and still another reason why I still like this figure. And the last minifigure we have here is just a robot cowboy, I'm assuming, and he has one eye, so that's a bit weird, but okay. Uh, and he just has, you know, what you would normally expect a cowboy to wear, and then again, he's just, he's a robot, which I just, it looks, makes it pretty cool. However, this one is pretty standard. Uh, I like the Sheriff definitely a lot more than this one, because the Sheriff is cooler looking. Uh, this guy just has uh, one of these uh, simple blasters, which were introduced at the time uh, this set was released, I believe. Uh, but yeah, he's got some, okay, pretty nice printing that uh, I think pre pretty much can be used for other cowboy figures, because they, they kept it pretty generic and kept uh, a lot of gray out of the printing, so I like that. You even got like a little, uh, uh, I forgot what that's called, but uh, he has one of those there. And uh, here's just a better look at his face print and nothing on the back. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look here through the instruction manual. So on the front is pretty much what would have been on the front of the box. And then it starts off by with just instructions. Oh, and apparently there was also another piece where you could have uh, uh, switched out uh, the saddle and just make it a regular horse. I actually didn't know that. I'm missing those pieces. Uh, yeah, and then more instructions, instructions, and I actually really like the instructions because they highlighted it with this uh, yellow border, just makes it seem like, I guess, sort of Lego instructions, just like, I, I don't know how to explain it, just, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got, just keeps going to the end, instructions, final product, and then we've got advertisement for, I'm assuming, the Lego Movie website, advertisement for some of the other Lego Movie sets, Advertisement for the Lego Movie video game, lots of advertisements, and then our good old list of pieces, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. So I believe when this set first came out, it was around, it costed around $10, I think, um, and I think this is a pretty good deal for it. It's not so much for, like, exclusive figures, I mean, I think he's, he's exclusive, and he might be exclusive, I don't know, but then Emmett, of course, is not exclusive, but, uh, I don't know, just the actual build of the set, it's just, it's just really fun, it's just a little fun set, I guess, because you don't get, like, a western set like this very often, in fact, we don't really get too many western sets anymore, but, uh, I don't know, just the idea of just a bunch, just a western glider contraption or whatever, just really creative, and that's one of the reasons I really like a lot of the Lego movie sets, just, they're just, a lot of them are just very creative with pieces and using them in weird and new ways, that's just, I just really, that's one of the reasons I really like all the sets, and that's one of the reasons I like this one, but also because of Robo Sheriff, that is another reason I really like this set, but, uh, honestly, I really like this set, I would definitely, uh, it's definitely one worth picking up if you can get it for a fair price now. But anyways, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!